We're here with Lucian Kujan, trimmer on board Alingi Red Bull Racing. So you had a long day today and lots of good sailing, upward and downward stints, lots of tacks and jibes. Was this your focus for today, drilling in the, drilling in the maneuvers? Uh, yeah, well, one, one of the focus of the day, of course, some practicing maneuvers, uh, falling tack, falling jibe, and yeah, it was a perfect day for that. So what else were you working on? Uh, different things, uh, different uh, setup of trim and uh, playing with the counts a bit. So now it's a um, um, very, very interesting day for us. So a lot of good data gathered, I imagine. Uh, so your maneuvers to port looks a bit stronger than the ones to starboard. It looked like you couldn't lock in the starboard foil, completing some of the tacks and jibes. Um, what do you think is holding you back from consistently getting from foil to foil in the maneuvers? Uh, well, uh, as you, you say, we, we, we were struggling on uh, uh, one side uh, compared to the other. Uh, as everybody knows, we have an asymmetric boat, um, a different shape of foil is a uh, port to starboard. But uh, I think it's good to, to do more because we also learn the boat and uh, we, we have no uh, s strong argument or conclusion about this type of uh, trim and this type of, of choice yet. So you can see a lot of movement in the sail. Is it by extension similar to trimming dinghies and bigger sailing boats? Is it significantly more difficult uh, than anything else you've ever sailed before in terms of trimming? I think the, the trimming of the sail is quite, um, I mean, we, we have some little uh, uh, gain here, but we, we also uh, sail with some replicate sail of Team New Zealand boat on boat zero. So, what parts exactly are you, are you trimming of the sail? And what's the information? How are you getting this information? Are you Are looking at telltales? Is it on a display? How do you, make the, how do you get the feedback? Well, on the trimming of the sails, we, um, we, we for sure use the telltales, but we also have some um, numbers on board on the display, or when we can see the, the tonnage on the, um, on the jib sheet or main sheet, also the the load on the Kuno, and uh, with all of these parameters, we try to s be trim as close as possible to the to the selling uh, target. And so you, your AC40 has just arrived. When do you intend to start sailing it? Sorry? When your AC40 has just arrived. When do you plan to start sailing it? Uh, well, is it arrived? Yeah, it arrived uh, earlier today. today. Yeah. Oh, just, nice. just as you guys were lifting up the main when you went out. Perfect. So you have a nice little present in for you in the shed. Yeah, perfect. Well, uh, actually, we, we knew that we will receive the AC40 uh, this Monday. Um, we have some couple of uh, works to do on it. And uh, we will basically try to sail on it as soon the boat is ready. We'll use it to match race against the AC75 or is it going to be a separate platform? <laughs> Well, for the moment, uh, we will uh, keep uh, things simple and uh, try uh, to go with uh, one boat uh, each uh, single day. Nice. And if you can just give us a quick summary of your day in French. C'était une journée magnifique. Nous avons pu faire beaucoup de manœuvres sur l'eau. Barcelone nous a donné du, des super conditions de vent et puis une mer un peu plus plate que les autres jours. Et donc c'était euh, parfait. Et puis euh, il faisait un peu plus chaud que d'habitude. Perfect. Thank you. Merci.